Hey Cupid Tooties and welcome or welcome back to Cutie Nails. I just hit my elbow y'all. <laughs> but welcome if you're new, welcome back if you're already a part of the Cutie family. So y'all today I had all intentions of doing nails but y'all know I took a little break and during that little break, I kind of like restructured my life, started back working out. A lot of y'all know I just retired from the army. So I took me a break from working out, but I was feeling the effects of it. So started back working out, restructured my life, and now I'm exhausted. <laughs> like two, three little months of not working out and my first day working out again. I am absolutely tired. So today, I want to do nails, but I want to sleep at the same time. So I figured since I'm more likely not going to be doing any nails, I'll just come on here. Ooh, y'all. I'll just come on here and do a little vlog day thing with you guys today. Chat a little bit about nails, chat a little bit about, you know, what's been going on. And to kind of clear the air a little bit about my full watch time thing that I've been doing um, here on YouTube with my little family that I've created here. So let's get into it, Cutie Patooties. So I came off of my little hiatus, like I said, had to get my life in order. Like YouTube was consuming me. I was just doing video after video after video trying to cook, trying to clean, trying to take care of kiddos, everything. It, it had just become a little bit too much and I noticed the effects in my body. I was a lot more tired, wasn't drinking water like I would normally like to. So I had to take a little pause and just readjust. You know, sometimes you have to like kind of take that time to self-assess and make sure that life is good and that you're good health wise and i know y'all see one of my hands are done and one isn't done my um next video that's coming up i was so embarrassed y'all i did a whole video my nails was looking a mess like i went ahead and soaked off everything and i was smoking some meats and i'll tell y'all about it in the video but i was smoking some meats in the smoker and i had oils on these fingers soaking them off and I wanted to still be able to hold the tongs and not you know I wanted to still be able to hold the tongs and not have the foils fall off so I didn't soak these off completely forgot to soak them off sat down did my sister's nails and then realized like halfway through the video that my nails was just looking a mess so I did these if you guys follow me on TikTok and Instagram you guys would have seen my reel and my little TikTok video on these nails that I did. Um, so my plan is to make sure that my dominant hand looks decent in my videos from here on out. And I'll just kind of leave this one for the pop off method, which I'll just leave it just to see how long it lasts. If I don't feel like doing nails, you know, doing a couple videos in the same day. I like to get a lot of them pre-recorded and out of the way. So that way, you know, I have time to still take care of my family and take care of myself and things like that. So that's, you know, where I've been, what I've been doing, but I'm back fully now. And it's kind of like when you take a break from doing something, you kind of get a little lazy getting back into the groove. So I'm trying right now, I'm trying to get back into the groove of doing my videos again like it's been really super easy you know posting my little shorts on youtube and stuff like that because that's all the content that i like stacked up from the minute i went on my leave from the army so i was just like doing content like crazy but now i am completely out and <laughs> i need to like get back in there so it's been really easy to post my little shorts and reels and things like that but now that I no longer have any of those, I need to get back in there and start back going to work. So y'all, the next thing on the list, this is not gonna be a really long video today. It's gonna be a short little vlog video. The next thing on the list for me to do is 
pretty much just continue to organize my nail room. Like everything is pretty much organized, but every time I sit down to do nails, I feel like things could just be a little bit more organized or convenient. So from my last um, nail room tour video, I have moved around a lot of stuff. I've changed where things are. My desk is still in the same position, but I have moved um, some of the things that used to be behind me over to the side. I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna do with this system right here. It's great, I love it, but I feel like I want another Alex drawer because it's, you know, this is cool, but you get more space in the Alex drawers. So I've been looking on Amazon for one that I'm gonna get to replace that. I've had some ideas in my mind of like things that I wanna do, some content that I wanna create for you guys. I have my stuff already prepped and on my table here for my next nail set, which is gonna be a poly gel set coming after the one that's coming up this Friday. You guys probably already saw the YouTube short on that one. I redid my sister's nails. She likes to go a little bit too long with between these nail fields. So um, it was like almost eight weeks and I was like, girl, come on now. So we had to soak those off and you guys will see, you know, the application process in that video. I have to say I am getting a lot better with my application. I'm really proud of myself. I'm not bragging or anything. I'm really proud of myself for that. And I'm going to continue to practice as much as I can. Um, Y'all know I love build a gel but I have truly been having a lot of fun doing acrylic and just the time like it's taken me to do sets so much faster. I really wanted to kind of stave off of builder gel sets for the sake of constantly putting my hand in the lamp because even though I have um, practice hands I feel like a nail set just looks a lot better on like real hands. So I've been more keen to doing them on my hands since I retired from the army. But what's next on the list? Okay, this is what's next on the list. Um, I'm gonna touch on my nail sister, Kiara's Creations um, video, one of her most recent videos. Y'all know I've given her a shout out on here before and I've told you guys to go check her out. She's really cool, super, super cute, super sweet, beautiful soul. Make sure y'all check out her channel. So she did a video in regards to, and y'all, I didn't want to, I didn't want to talk about it, but I am going to talk about it for the sake of transparency with my cutie family here so that way you guys know what the real is. Um, she did a video in regards to someone inboxing her in regards to me doing my full watch time um, thing that I've been doing. Um, so. I'm not explaining myself to anyone, but I will say because I took a break, I wanted to catch back up on all of my cuties that have been supporting me who has channels. And so when Kiara did her binge watch Wednesdays, I was like, oh, that will be a great way for me to catch back up on people, you know, that I love looking at their channels. So I was like, let me do it. But the thing about it is, I've noticed some people who say that they're doing um, binge watch, you know, watch time things, don't really be watching all the videos. So I wanted a way to show you cuties that I'm actually watching it. So what I've been doing, I've just been going through my, sub my subscriptions, just scrolling through and it'll stop wherever it stops. And whoever is the first person that I see, that is whose channel that I'm going to watch for four hours. I've been making sure to post that person on my community tab and letting them know that I am going to be watching you. I don't have a particular day, whatever day that I have time in my schedule where I'm just chilling, which that's part of me restructuring my life. I want to at least give myself four hours of the day where I can do what I want to do, whether it be creating content or watching content, I pick that person and I watch the videos, I comment on the videos all the way through and I make sure to put on their hashtag FWT in one of my comments so that way you guys know that 
I have watched your entire video. So today was Kiara's day for me to watch her channel because I ended up picking her, I think it was Friday or Saturday, I really can't remember. I ended up picking her one of those days and I was like, okay, I'm gonna start back again on Monday because I didn't do anybody's channels, I wanna say, on Thursday and Friday or Friday and Saturday. And I know for sure I didn't watch any content on Sunday either. But um, somebody came to her basically, um, I guess inciting some type of dis dislike for the fact that I did that and pretty much was like, oh, you know, I kind of stole her idea and did I ask her permission and all these things, right? So what I have to say to that is um, YouTube is public to everyone. I don't feel like anyone needs to ask permission to do anything, to recreate anything, to, to do anything. As long as you're not blatantly passing off someone else's work as your own, I feel like YouTube is public and open to anyone. So if my nail sister Kiara decided to start binge watch Wednesdays, I feel like we all should be binge watching each other because in our small little community, you know there are some content creators that's making money and just really exploding on the platform. And then you have us small content creators who don't get a lot of love. So when I started my channel, I was afraid of starting my channel because of things like this, because of people bullying people. And I have had to deal with that in the past. I just pretty much ignored that person's comment. And I, you know, just sought solace in one of my nail sisters, you know, for encouragement and stuff like that. This was part of the reason why I did not want to start my channel. But when I decided to start it, I didn't start it for views. I didn't start it for subscribers. I didn't start it for anything other than to create a space where I can be encouraged and where I can encourage other people on the same journey as me. I don't care if I get a thousand views or two videos on your video. My purpose for sharing with you guys is to let other people in the community I mean, a lot of us are putting our time and effort into content, into work here on YouTube. And why not get the same recognition and pay that other people are getting? So, like I said, I'm not going to apologize for showing the same love and support that other people have shown me. I'm not here to steal anything from anyone. Trust and believe. I am an original at the things that I do and people are original at the things that they do, but you're always going to gain inspiration from other people and other things. So with that being said, to whoever it was that felt 
some kind of way about me supporting other channels and giving love to other content creators with the same amount of subscribers or me as me, more or less than me, then God bless you. I really don't know what to say other than that. It's, it's kind of sad that you felt that way because that was never my intention to make anybody feel any kind of way. I don't think myself above anyone else because I believe in God. I say things and do things like everyone else in this world that I have to ask forgiveness for, but I'm not gonna be offensive to anyone. If I like to use cuss words off a of camera, I'm not gonna come and push that here to anyone else because I know there's kids that's watching even though it says that these videos are not made for kids. But with that being said, that doesn't mean that I'm against or, you know, chastising anybody that does curse on their channel. I mean, I'm not here to judge anybody. Everybody is doing what they're doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm minding my business. I'm creating content that I love to create. I'm sharing what I want to share. I'm sharing what people ask me to share if I feel comfortable sharing it. I'm just letting people be them and do what they do on their channel. And I'm just going to love everybody regardless. Regardless. Now, if I build relationships with people outside of YouTube, then that's a different story. The way I handle those relationships are completely different. But the relationships here on YouTube, I'm going to love and support you as much as you love and support me. And even if you don't have the time to... We are all living life. I'm going to love and support everybody that subscribes to me, regardless of if they're like totally binging all my videos or not. If they watch a video or two here or there, because everybody has a life to live. So Kiara, I do want to thank you for supporting me, loving me, and for nipping it in the bud where it was at, because... I don't like you. I don't have time for that type of drama and bickering between females. I'm not one to even engage in that, to be talking about other females and stuff like that. I'm just going to go ahead and support my nail sisters on this platform the same way I have been from the beginning. So I don't apologize for that at all. Even if you have two subscribers or the same as me, if I feel like I need to shout you out, I'm definitely going to shout you out. I'm definitely going to support and let everybody know about things that I've learned from my nail sisters in this community. And there's even people who don't do nails that I watch. I'm going to support them too. Like my girl Jen from Jen on the Man. I just did um, some watch hours on her because we're all at different points in our journey on YouTube and you don't know who needs watch hours or not. So, and like Kiara said, it really does work. Like I noticed once I started doing the watch hours to catch up on everybody that I missed in that space of time that I wasn't creating content or consistently watching YouTube, like people's older videos has started popping up as my suggested watch video. So it really works. So like she said in her video, she hasn't patent been watch Wednesday. So I highly suggest that you guys follow in her footsteps and start watching each other and showing each other love. I mean, if your goal is to be better than everybody else and that's your goal, you do you. But as for me, I'm going to support my sisters. I'm going to shout y'all out when I need to. I'm not trying to copy or steal anything from anybody. If I feel like it's going to step on anyone's toes or infringe on their, their brand in any way, I will definitely reach out and say, hey, is it okay if I do X, Y, and Z? But inspiration comes from everywhere a lot of the nails that we're creating is inspiration that we've seen from pictures on instagram facebook snapchat everywhere so technically we're all stealing from each other ain't we but i mean it is what it is again i believe in god but i am human and i have emotions so if i feel like something is troubling my heart to the point that i need to say something about it then i'm gonna say something about it but in the most respectful way as possible so 
that was past, present, and let's talk about the future. Y'all, I have so much nail goodies here that I need to review. During the course of me taking my little break, like, I don't know what's up with this weather here in Georgia. I mean, y'all can see outside. It's like real gloomy. Like, legit, before I started recording this, the sun was out. The sun was out. It was beautiful. And it just got all gray and cloudy. Started raining. And then it's probably going to be sunny again. It's been doing that all weekend. But because of that, like, and me working out and I'm out on the street doing my walks and stuff in the morning, I developed like this itchy throat and then all of a sudden I lost my voice. So I have content to film and I have content that I've already filmed that I wasn't able to do a voiceover on. So you guys have tons of stuff coming. I'm going to give y'all a pre-warning. Um, one of the videos that's coming next week is some duckies. Y'all, I cannot stand duckies. But I'm going to do it this once. And Kiara Girl, you had already mentioned it in your first binge watch Wednesday. You know I don't like clawed nails. But y'all, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. So that's future content. I don't, I'm going to really have to work up the courage to do some clawed nails. But duckies aren't that bad. Like clawed nails are the worst for me. But I'm going to try some duckies, y'all. I hope y'all like it. It's going to be a poly gel set. Um, I think I want to do another um, acrylic toes video. I've already soaked off the ones that I did way back when. But I have tons of stuff here, PR, that was sent to me that I really need to get these like videos done. So look forward to that. I don't know which order sequence is going to be in Cutie Patooties, but it's coming. Um, with all that being said, I love y'all. I love each and every one of y'all. Even if you were the person that felt some type of way about what I did, I don't care. I love you. It's in the past. I didn't say what I had to say about it. I love you. God loves you. Most importantly, God loves each and every one of you. Do not forget that. And as always, cuties, I'll most definitely talk to you in my next one. Bye!